hi friends welcome to yet another tutorial of easy video series in this lecture basically we are going to see nested bullets and bullets we directly come to the example in the previous video i have already shown you how you can basically do the itemize and numbering so the same example examples of fruits so if you see i have a begin itemize here which ends here okay on line number 16 so I have apple, mango, and then I have an item called examples of junk fruit. So you see apple, mango, and examples of junk fruit. Now within this item, as you can see, I have enclosed an enumerate. Basically, I am enclosing a numbered list. So you can enclose either of them. You can enclose a list within a, a numbered list within bullets, or you can enclose bullets within numbered, or you can have any mix of combination. So what happens, examples of junk food, then I begin another en environment which is numbered. So this will be pizza, burger and noodles. So you see pizza, burger and noodles come in the form of numbered list, but they are indented. You can see this line if you observe, the dot lines of bullets appear here. And since it's a nested list, so the nested part comes a bit farther from the left hand side of the screen. Okay, so in this manner, you can get the nested bullets and numbering. One thing to keep in mind is the closing environment. Let's say you begin the itemized environment first. So it will be closed last. See, we begin an itemized, then we begin enumerate. So consequently, last opened was enumerate. So first close will be enumerate and then we will close itemize. Another example is we can have as many as nesting. See, I begin itemize which ends on line 35. Okay, then I have a page layout. Within this, I am opening another itemize environment. So this has two contents. You can see page layout, geometry and type area. Again, I have headers and footers. Since this environment ends here, so headers and footers will be exactly under page layout. So you see page layout headers and footers because this is the part of original itemized environment so anything which is nested will keep on moving further okay so if i let's say copy this and i have further nested okay so now let us compile so you can see first nesting second nesting and third nesting LaTeX automatically takes these icons, the black dot, hyphen, and the star, depending on the nesting level that you have. So you can have as much as nesting possible, but please do avoid heavy nesting because that is not good to read and understand. That's it. So in this video, you have observed how you can easily nest bullets and numbering in LaTeX. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe.